Hello guys, in this video I want to show you in my opinion the best build for solo dungeons. I will also talk about other aspects of making them. But first I want to invite you to my Discord server where you can find many money making methods and guides which will help you make silver in Albion. With that being said, let's get to the point. Let's review the build that we'll be using today. The weapon I choose is Light Crossbow. I'm using tier 8.0 excellent quality, but I think you can use even like 6.0 Light Crossbow and it will be fine. The spells I'm using, uh, Q is Explosive Bolt, W is Cold Drops to just stack up my passive to have my Q faster. Uh, for some bosses you can use uh, Thunder Shot to uh, just do the boss faster uh, and passive is well prepared to just uh, have your Q faster to kill the mobs faster. Uh, the uh, call I'm using is Color Call uh, just in case if I'll, uh, I will be run out of mana to, to just use it and, and uh, get your mana back. The passive is aggression. The jacket I'm using is mercenary jacket to just, uh, if I will be low on health, uh, to use it and to uh, just gain a little bit of my health. A passive is balanced mind. The shoes I will be using are hunter shoes with spell refreshing sprint to have my cooldowns faster and with balanced mind. Uh, the offhand I'm using is mist color just for uh, cooldown modifier. The cape I'm using is Tatford cape for extra damage. Uh, the back I'm using is just usual bag. Uh, if it comes to food I'm using catfish because look, uh, catfish is like uh, one catfish costs like 1000 silver. That's very, that's very low price for a region food, for example, tier 5 cabbage soup, which regains your food too, it uh, regains your health, it costs like 5 or 4000 silver, so catfish is way better to go. And potions, uh, potions I'm using are just uh, regular uh, tier 5, uh, tier 4 potions. The mount I'm using is giant stack, just for the passive. And in my opinion, the giant stack isn't too much uh, too too expensive. It's like uh, sixty four thousand silver. That's not much for a giant stack, to be honest. And now let's talk about uh, my swaps. My swaps are stacker hood. If you want to do the mobs faster, you can just uh, use it instead of scholar coal. But if you will use stalker hood, you need to uh, use limhurst cape because you will run out of mana. The shoes uh, are assassin shoes. If you are just doing a boss and you need a spell where you uh, need to dodge something, just use that boots with the spell called dodge and a passive balanced mind. It, it should help you a little bit on the bosses. Uh, if it comes to uh, mounts, if you don't have enough money for a giant stack, you can just use usual tier 2 riding horse and it will be totally fine. The swap for back is Satchel of Insight. Uh, if you want to uh, gain more fame uh, in our, you can use that uh, Satchel of Insight, but I wouldn't recommend you that because that's very expensive to use that Satchel. Uh, the swap for cape is usual cape. If you don't have enough money, for even like 4.0 that for cape you can just use usual cape and it will be totally fine you can even go without any cape and it will be good too and swap for food is avalonian beef stew because uh, it does not only regenerate your health it also buffs your damage so you'll just uh, kill the mobs faster but uh, if you don't have much money for that, just use, just use the usual catfish and it will be good too. If it comes to tiers that you should be using, as you can see I'm using like tier 8 crossbow and tier 7 armor. 
and I got uh, 1300 IP but uh, for the dungeons that we will be doing like tier 7 dungeons you can uh, use 6.0 or 6.1 crossbow and the armor can be even 4.1 so that's very cheap and it should be it should be fine in my opinion if you will use even 4.1 armor I will go through four types of solo dungeons and I will talk about all the advantages of doing each dungeon. Those types will be solo dungeon in tier 5 yellow zone map while faction flagged, tier 7 red zone map while faction flagged, tier 7 black zone map and solo dungeon in Avarus. I will give you a tip, if you don't want to anyone gank you after entering the dungeon just wait 90 seconds so your dungeon will disappear and no one will be able to gank you anymore. I didn't do that because that's only yellow zone and usually nobody ganks in yellow zones. If it comes to solo dungeons in tier 5 yellow zone map while flagged, this type of dungeon is the best for the newest players because mobs won't be too strong. You will be able to make some money from loot from chests and from faction points which uh, you can exchange for faction herds. While flagged, you got a bonus of 5% to your fame too. If you're too scared to go to red or black zones, this type of dungeon will be perfect to start with. As you can see in the top left corner, uh, while you are faction flagged in red zone, you got 15% more fame. That's a lot. If you're not scared of dying, but anyway, you shouldn't die because the entrance will close and no one will be able to gank you, you can go to red zone to do solo dungeons. It is probably the best way to do solo dungeons because you will get much fame, loot from chests will be fine and you will get a lot of faction points. While doing this type of dungeons, uh, your IP should be like 1100 and in my opinion it should be totally fine. As you can see, with my IP mobs are getting killed very fast so with uh, IP on the level of 1100 it should go very well too. If it comes to solo dungeons in tier 7 black zone maps they are very familiar to these ones in red zones. In tier 7 black zones map the fame and loot will be probably the same or a little bit higher but you won't be able to get faction points. In my opinion, for the most profit, you should do solo dungeons in tier 7 red zone maps. And second thing, uh, in the black zone maps, uh, there will be probably less gunkers, so you should be a little bit more safe. And the last type of solo dungeons, which I will show in this video, is solo dungeons in Avaroads. To find a solo dungeon in Avaroads, just enter the random Avalanche roads, and solo dungeons looks like this. Uh, if you will find one, just go there and enter it. When doing solo dungeons in other roads, you need to remember one very important thing. The entrance won't close, so someone always can gank you. So remember to be aware of that. But I think the risk is worth the loot because this, what you will see in a second, is just amazing. Look. The solo dungeons in Avaros are amazing because of the loot. As you can see, the loot have a 600 and 10% bonus. So from only this chest, uh, as you can see, I got like 400 uh, thousand silver. That's only from one blue chest and it's uh, mobs here are tier 4. And after this chest I changed my mind, in my opinion uh, solo dungeons in Avaroads are the most profitable because it's only tier 4 dungeon, mobs here are tier 4 and the loot from chests is just amazing.
That's all in this video. I hope this will help you make your bank. Don't forget to join my Discord server to get even more silver making methods. Don't forget to leave a subscription if you would want to see more videos like that. That's all, see you in the next one.